Okay, so I had to do my video somewhere else because it was too hot. But there's lizards over here. My nephew, I have him. Show them the net. I have him protecting me <laughs> from these lizards. Ooh, that's one thing I can't do with Florida. These lizards, like, no. Okay, like I was saying, pride is something that can be built up over time, especially as you grow in life experiences and um, you start to, you know, be grown and feel yourself and all of that. Yes, you do mature. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. But over time, sometimes when people get older, they don't want you to tell them anything. They You start to feel like you know everything or you don't want to listen to wise counsel or your elders and things like that. Like I've had times that there were I've gotten corrected and I'm like in my mind I'm like they don't know this or that or <laughs> you know it, pride starts to build up but I, I have to remember like these are my elders. They've been through way more than um than I've experienced and they know what they're talking about. So I have to humble myself even though I'm growing to be the woman of God he called me to be. I have to remain humble and take wise counsel. Um there's something that our first lady says that even if you do know something and an elder is telling you something, don't be, oh, I know, I know, this or that. Just listen. Say, okay. There's nothing wrong with being humble. There's nothing wrong. And especially in this world with women, there's so much, uh, what is it, um, the feminists that are on the rise. And, they, you know, feel women feel like they're not being treated equal, all this and that. And I've had to deal with that. And I'm still, you know, still dealing with that in my marriage where I have to be that humble woman. God, people make it seem like God just treats women as like they're under the dirt and they're just nothing. Like they're, yes, we are under our husbands. Our husbands are our head. Um, and we have to remember that and remain humble with that and accept that because that's hard for women to accept because we want to feel like we're equal and we're not. And there's nothing wrong with that. God shows in the Bible so many times all the different women, even in the book of Esther, he shows Ruth and all the different women. God wouldn't have created Esther if he felt like she wasn't a necessary part. Um, our part is so important, but we have to remain humble. And that's what, you know, pride can come in, come up in different situations, not just in marriage, but pride can come up in friendships. It can come up um, with being, you know, in motherhood or sisterhood. It can come up in so many different things. Because, again, we don't want to look wrong. We don't want to be wrong. Um, we want the upper hand, and it's hard for us to humble ourselves. That's one of the hardest things to do is to humble ourselves because the haughty, you know, the haughty and prideful, they shall be put in shame. But those who are humble, God will uplift us. Um, so God dealt with me. You know, pride, becomes, pride comes before a fall um, because you think, you know, even with Paul, well, he was saw at the time he was knocked off his high horse. He was knocked off of his high horse and God had to show him, you know, I am God. You're you're doing the wrong things. And he humbled his soul and he allowed God to use him. And we have to we have to be the same way. We have to, you know, sometimes we have to be knocked off of our high horse for God to be able to use us. There's many times where God has to break us to make us and humble us in many situations. So even Paul was humbled and he's a man um the yeah so <laughs> i mean there's so many things that we have to learn and grow in our relationship with god and that's one of them because if we're not able to take correction reproof rebuke rebuke um we're not going to be used by god because we're going to feel like i have it all together um we have to remember that it's only by grace that we're saved it's only by grace that we're saved and it's nothing that we've done is our our righteousness is as filthy rags and yeah i gotta get my nail fixed y'all but our righteousness is as filthy rags and we have to realize that we have to know that um it's only by grace that we're saved it's only by his his mercy and his grace that we're even still here and living because if we think that we're doing things on our own oh i did this i accomplished this um i know this or i know that God God refuses and he his face is turned away from the haughty and the prideful. Um so we have to remain humble even like I said on my channel I have to remember that I'm not making a reputation for myself but when people see me they need to see God. Um in every situation that comes up when I want to say something back when I 
want to respond a certain way because I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to feel wrong in a certain situation. I have to remember that Jesus was a man and God calls the women even more so to have a meek and quiet spirit. So if Jesus can do it, I need to do it. I have to do it because he was a man and he humbled himself too. Paul was a man and he humbled himself. Um, even when Jesus came and and uh, John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness and Jesus came and he said for John to um, baptize him. Sorry, I'm being paranoid with these. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure they you know me. When Jesus came um, and he told John to baptize him and John's like, no, like I'm not worthy. You need to baptize me. But he said, you know, you need to listen. And Jesus himself, you know, he wasn't like, Yo, you know, you're right. I'm going to baptize you. No, he he was humble in so many different ways. And John the Baptist baptized him. He washed all of the disciples' feet. That's one of the most humblest things to do is to wash somebody's feet, to wash them corns. <laughs> I had to tell my nephew that because he's like, you know, I don't want to touch nobody's feet because when, we when we were doing the feet washing. But we have to remember that that's a way of humility. And if Jesus himself could do it, the son of God, if he can humble himself and, and he washed men's feet. Now, women, our feet is a little bit more decent, but he was washing men's feet. So imagine that. <laughs> um, then some big, husky, burly feet. And he, he still humbled himself, washed their feet. So we have to remember that we're not higher than Jesus. Um, so if he can do things like that, then it's so much important. It's so important for us to remain humble because pride if we give the enemy any space, time, or opportunity, he'll, if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. So whenever you feel that pride rising up, whenever you feel like, oh, I need to say something back, or I need to let them know that I'm right and they're wrong, just remember, remember what Jesus did. Remember what Paul did. Um, so yeah, that's all I really have to say about pride. Um, it's something that God has dealt with me recently, and I had to realize, like, okay, I'm reacting like this because of some, there's something in my heart. And our apostle, he preached a message called that residue. So, yeah, I may have been delivered from smoking and drinking and partying, um, cutting myself, but there's some other things in my, you know, in my character that need to be straightened out, that need to be tweaked, that need to be, you know, ironed through. So that residue is that meaning that little bit that's still in there. That little bit that, you know, that we don't realize is there until God, you know, shows you like, okay, you have something still in your heart. That's why you're reacting this way. That's why, um, that's why, you know, you want to retaliate. You want to get the last word. You want to do this or that. And God is, you know, constantly working on me with, you know, because our mouth is a little member. It's funny because it's those little things that get us in trouble. Our mouth, our, our tongue is a little member, um, but it can set off a fire. It can, it can run its course and it can, it can really cause some trouble. So it's so important because we may think that, oh, it's those big things. But sometimes, especially for those that have been saved for a while, it's those little things that we, that we still are allowed to fester in our hearts, that we still allow that residue to be in there. So we have to ask God to wash our hearts, wash our minds and cleanse us from everything that's not like him. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have to really talk about as far as pride. Um, I hope that this helps somebody. Um, I hope that this that every time I come on here, I'm hoping that somebody is encouraged or uplifted through anything that I say because it's not it's not I, but it's you know it's through Him that I can do anything. It's only in Him that I live, move, and have my being. So I just want to be a light. You know, time is winding up. Jesus is coming back, so I want to be a hope. As, and as much as I can, yeah, I got this Wawa's. It's the creme, creme brulee. I can't even pronounce it. It's so good. For those who have Wawa's, order this. It's a creme brulee. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.